point, I don't get what Jody's plan is for this company. The animation sure aren't being finished on time anymore, and I certainly don't see why we need this machine. It's noisy, it's messy, and who needs that much ink anyway? Also, get this. Joey had me to have donate something from our workstation. We put them on these little pedestals in the break room. To help appease the gods, Joey said. Keep things going. I think he's lost his mind. But hey, he writes the check. But I tell you what, if one more of these pipes bursts, I'm out of here. I said, can I get an amen?
told me I was perfect for the role. Absolutely perfect. Now Joey's going around, saying things behind closed doors. I can always tell. Now he wants to meet again tomorrow, says he has an opportunity for me. I'll hear him out. But if that smooth talker thinks he can double-cross an angel and get away with it, <laughs> well, oh, he's got another thing coming. Alice? Ooh, she doesn't like liars. For 40 years, I've built attractions that stagger the imagination. Colossal wonders such as the world has never seen. I have earned my legacy with sweat. Right in front of everyone. High-level investors, Wall Street tycoons. The ever-tactless Joey Drew introduces me, the great Bertram Piedmont, as Bertie, like I was his child. You may be paying me, Mr. Drew, but you don't own me. I'll build you a park bigger than anything you could ever possibly conceive. But before you go taking any bows, Mr. Drew, know that this grand achievement will belong to me, and to me alone. Several near successes. One weird note, the first figure ever 